So we're here again with Mike. Mike, with so many different products out there, how do you know what's best for your client? Is it really necessary to have so many different products? What do they all do? Um, yeah, I mean, it's yes and no, really. Like, literally, they all do do something different. Like, you know, for example, like here, standing by the Bumble stand, this whole range, extensive range, has got pretty much everything you need. You know, so it's got from the hair care, so washing, cleansing, conditioning, treating, you know, down to the styling products, like preparing the hair, to like the finishing. Um, I mean, I can see it's just on this shelf alone, you've got one, two, three shampoos in, in the same yeah. brand. I mean, is it actually even more than that? <laughs> but they all do something different. So, for example, let's pick up the thickening one. So you've got the thickening range here, it's thickening shampoo. So literally, it does what it says, you know, it's quite, um, if you were to use this on really thick hair, then I'm sure you're gonna have uh, quite a nightmare. So it's great for those ladies or people that, that have um, that difficulty in kind of getting that bit of volume, that extra oomph to their hair. Um, thickening shampoo is literally the answer for it. You know, and again, someone, if you recommend them something with um, like a, like say creme de coco, which is like something really uh, heavy, then they're gonna have a nightmare again. It'd be like they've had an old, old sleep and less hair than they actually have. So, so it's really is actual, important to yeah, pick the product for the client. Yeah, so, that, so each, each shampoo in each range, that's why like, it has to be recommended to you. You know, it has to be recommended. Um, like looking at, and then you've got some of the ranges like, so, so for ladies that have um, a lot of colors done to their hair, which can be quite damaging, you know, and can, and can you know, color can take its toll on, on their hair. So, for example, you've got mending shampoo and conditioner, and also with that, you've got the option to buy the mask. So just like anyone's everyday skincare regime, you know, um, you know, you've got different combination skins, dry skin, oily skin, etc. Um, you know, this is going to treat someone that has got, you know, that's had that little bit excess damage to their hair. You know, like by doing that mask, it's almost like that extra little um, thing that they're going to add to their hair care regime. You know, to bring their hair back. Give the boost that's after right. after mountain. So that's why well, I've noticed this is all Bumble and Bumble. Why Bumble that's and Bumble as, as a brand? Right. Well, this is actually just one of the brands that we have. Um, what I want to show you actually over here, we've got um, some uh, another two brands here. We've got Purology and Redken. Redken, exactly the same as Bumble. If you imagine, like there's all the different hair types of distress hair and a conditioner. And in that range, you have got like um, a treatment that you can use, a mask, etc., etc. Um, another great range that we do as well, which is Purology. Which I, and again, just showing you again, like an example from the Purology range, which is a uh, hydrate shampoo and a conditioner. And again, they've a slightly smaller range, but for each hair type again, you know, for the damaged hair, uh, typically for the finer hair um, and for that thicker hair. But each, you know, so no one shampoo can serve the right, you know, the, the same person really. So I notice you've got all these different brands that kind of do a, a similar thing. They all have the same range within yeah. them. Why, why do you stock so many brands? Why not just again, one brand know, to serve? You can, you can be right. We like that choice. You know, whether it's because of the price, because they all price a little bit differently. Right. Um, it could be smell, it could be packaging. So for a client, you know, it's great to give them that, 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 that choice, choice well. and just say, you know, do you like this one or that one? And, and also for the team, it's so much fun for us to be able to have that, that, that choice. Mm. Lastly, I'll just show you the men's range. We do have a small range, men's range right. as well, because you've done your hair right earlier as well. Yes, and it's yes. great, you know, because you might not feel comfortable getting a bottle like that. So I'll grab something for you. We've got, in the Redken range, this is the men, Redken for men. So for a man, you know, and this is mint clean, which is great. You know, most men like that kind of fresh. Um, like, so if you're going to use it in the morning, it will probably kind of wake you up a little yeah. bit as well. Yeah. So this is great. Um, and you probably, you, you, you may feel more comfortable kind of like walking out with a bottle like this rather than a bottle like that. That really is yeah, another factor, isn't it? It's maybe seen as a slightly feminine thing to look after your hair, whereas something like this is a bit more masculine and just yeah. as important, I suppose, for a man to look after his hair. Oh, definitely, than, than definitely. A woman. You know, marketing is, is such a, you know, it does come into it. You know, we're, yes, we're hairdressers and, you know, we love what we do and we kind of think about, you know, how, how we're going to make someone happy and how we're going to kind of make them you know, give them like something, you know, so that they can make themselves happy with their hair. So the majority of the time, you know, you are doing your hair yourself. So if I can give you as much of the tools um, and, you know, the, the, the regime that I would recommend for you to go by, you know, to make your hair look wonderful um, throughout that time, you know, more likely you're going to be, that's right. Mm -hmm. And then going back to kind of like that marketing side of it, it is about, you know, how we look, you know, how can we, because we want to continue to attract more customers as well. So. Um, you know, the look of the salon, the look of the product, you know, the products that you are stocking, you know, um, how we kind of conduct ourselves, you know, does add to that as well. You know, we do have to take that into account yeah. as well as just doing what we love. Yes.
as a business. So it really yeah. is so important to pick the right brands, definitely, definitely. The, the right product for your hair.